Welcome back. This is episode 156 of the Veterinary Business Video Show. In this episode, we'll hear about the importance of including culture in your recruiting decisions, and we'll see why there may be a sound business case for a veterinary practice to invest in buying website traffic. We'll learn how to deal with difficult people. We'll see how you can use closed-ended questions to help clients to accept your professional advice. And I'll offer you my quick business tip for this episode. I'm John Sheridan and this is the video show from Vetney Business. You might imagine from the huge number of CPD opportunities available for clinicians and other employees in veterinary practice, that success depends almost exclusively on clinical ability on the one hand and on marketing, particularly on the quality of your website and social media skills on the other. Both are essential, of course, but your practice success depends much more on the day-to-day -day interactions between all the members of your practice team and their clients and other animal owners in the community. That's the sort of marketing which will demonstrate the values you espouse and define your practice brand. When, for example, your reception team know the name of every client as they come through the door, you're well on the way. Here's a clip from the AAHA which considers the importance of culture in your hiring decisions as a veterinary manager or owner and its impact on employee turnover. Katie, I've heard a lot recently at conferences about culture and I understand it's important in a practice and important in the hiring process. Can you explain that to me? I can. Culture is a widely used term right now in the hiring process and in an environment in a practice. It is a lot more than just a warm and fuzzy feeling though. Mismatched culture is in fact one of the top causes of turnover in our industry today. You mentioned turnover and I know that, that culture is kind of one of those warm fuzzy things but as a practice owner and manager I'm, I'm concerned about the bottom line of my practice so talk to me about how turnover would affect my bottom line. Industry average for turnover with a professional is one and a half times their salary is what you would expect to lose from a turnover. So there is that impact on your bottom line as well as an impact on the morale of the staff. So we're talking six figures if I hire the wrong veterinarian if they're mismatched with my culture and I would